deadlines for round 1 of your applications are fast approaching i am very sure that most of you are on the last leg of your gmat preparation and some of you might have already given your exam if you are planning to give a second attempt then strategically choose a date so that you do not miss the deadlines now like always i am here today with another question of gmat friday today we are going to do a critical reasoning question which is scored at 705 plus level now let's see whether it is the question or the options that make it a hard level question as always what do you have to do you have to strategically pause the video here take 2 minutes to solve the question and resume to have a look at the solution now let's have a look at the question stem what does the question stem say which one of the following is an assumption that the researcher's argument requires so now we know that this is an assumption question let's have a look at the argument then research has shown that inhaling the scent of lavender has measurable physiological effects tending to reduce stress so that means if you will inhale lavender what will happen stress will be reduced so inhaling lavender will lead to stress reduction it is known that intense stress can impair the immune system impair means it can spoil making one more susceptible to illness so if we have if we are stressful or if we are suffering from stress then what will happen our immune system will be impaired and which will lead to more illness so our illness will increase now let's read ahead therefore it is likely that the incidence of illness among those who regularly inhale the scent of lavender is reduced by this practice so what is our conclusion that if we regularly inhale lavender then what will happen illness will decrease so what is our conclusion that if we regularly take the scent of lavender illness will be decreased okay so this is our conclusion now have a look at this conclusion carefully and you will be able to understand that this is a type of argument which is called as a cause and effect argument now what is a cause and effect argument in a cause and effect argument the template of the argument is that the author always gives a single cause for a particular effect so here our cause is inhalation of lavender and the effect is that illness is decreasing okay so when we take the scent of lavender illness decreases or in other words our assumption will run on the lines of that only inhaling lavender will lead to a decrease in the illness or there can be nothing else there can be no other factor other than x which can cause the reduction in illness so if we are inhaling lavender then definitely our susceptibility to illness will decrease that is what is our correct assumption and with this in mind we will have a look at our options now okay guys now let's have a look at the different options and select the correct one a says many if not all of the scents that have a tendency to reduce susceptibility to illness do so at least in part by reducing stress so here the author is trying to say that many if not all that means most of the scents that will reduce your susceptibility to illness will do so by reducing stress but here in the argument or in the conclusion we are not talking about most of the scents we are specifically talking about lavender or the scent of lavender so we can easily eliminate a because this is a general option this is not an option which is specific to the argument now let's have a look at b b says some people who regularly inhale the scent of lavender 
would otherwise be under enough stress to impair their immune systems. That means if these people do not inhale lavender, then they will be under enough stress that it will spoil their immune systems. That means what is this option trying to say? That this inhalation of lavender is causing the reduction in the susceptibility of illness. That means this is what our assumptions should say. So we will hold on to B option. Never mark an answer without having a look at all of the options even if you feel that you have got the answer at B or C. Let's have a look at C. C says at least some people who use the scent of lavender to induce relaxation and reduce stress are no more susceptible to illness than average. No more susceptible means this option is trying to say that there are some people who use the scent of lavender and even after that they have the same susceptibility to illness. And this option is actually trying to tell us that lavender inhalation is not having any effect on what in any effect on the susceptibility of illness. So this is actually not an assumption but it is a weakener because this option is trying to tell us that inhalation of the scent of lavender is actually not working. But that is not what our argument is trying to say. So we can eliminate C. Now let's have a look at D. D says in anyone for whom the scent of lavender reduces susceptibility to illness, it does so primarily by reducing stress. Okay. So D can also be one of the confusing options or one of the options which you might go for. D actually is just reiterating what is already written in the paragraph. D is just telling us that for anyone if the inhalation of the scent of lavender is working, it is working by reducing stress. But we already know from our argument that how does lavender or the scent of lavender work by reducing stress and stress therefore reduces the susceptibility to illness. So therefore this is just a repetition of the facts which are already given in the argument. So we can eliminate D option. Now let's have a look at E. E says reduced stress diminishes susceptibility to illness only for people who are under enough stress to impair their immune systems at least to some degree. That means E is trying to say that the reduced stress will only diminish the susceptibility to illness or reduced stress would only work if that person is stressed enough to decrease the susceptibility to illness or a person will have to be stressed a lot in order for this plan to work or in order for the inhalation of lavender to work. And this is not what our argument is trying to say. So we can safely eliminate E option. So thus you can mark B as the correct choice and move ahead. Congratulations to everybody who have marked B as the correct answer. We will be back next Friday with another video of quant, verbal or a DI question. If you are liking the content that we are posting, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That's it for today.